Hi, this is Jason Waddell with Prospects1500.com. I'm here with Dunedin Blue Jays pitcher Ryan Barucki. Ryan, thanks for sitting down. Thanks for having me. Uh, a couple questions. As a 15th round selection, what's that like coming up through Pro Bowl? Um, just coming through it, I just came here with an open mind, didn't really know what was uh, what mm -hmm. they were going to ask me or do. Mm -hmm. I came in, got hurt right away. Um, I knew that I was going to come uh, sooner, soon when I got, because I had a partially torn UCL when I got drafted. Okay. But um, but I saw the guys and and uh, I saw that they're pretty good, so I just had to work really hard and try mm -hmm. to do things that try to outwork other guys. And over time, I just been just keep doing my thing. Uh, and I've been I've progressed pretty well since uh, first getting drafted. I'm a lot different. Uh, gained 60 pounds since being drafted, and worked on a couple different things. And I um, I've progressed pretty well so far. And you seem to be 100% healed from the Tommy John. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. What was the biggest uh, What's the biggest change in your game since the surgery? Um, just being more conscious about my arm and body. Mm -hmm. um, when you're in high school, you really don't you really don't uh, think about like recovery and things like that. And ever since surgery, and you just get a year taken away from you, um, you really are more conscious about how you feel and how your arm feels. So I do a lot more exercises about my arm and things like that. And when I'm playing catch, I know how I feel and what the difference between hurt and sore is. A lot of guys don't know really that difference, so they freak out when there's a the little sore, but there's a big difference between a sharp pain and then just normal soreness throughout the year. Yeah. And when you play 140 games, you're going to be sore. It's, it's just that simple. So, so I definitely the recovery aspect, I've changed a lot and just knowing my body, things like that. Okay. Uh, one of the biggest differences I've noticed in just your stats line mm -hmm. since you've come back is an increased strikeout per nine rate. Mm -hmm. Anything that, um, that's attributing to that? Um, I think probably for that, I mean, strikeouts just happen. I feel like um, I have a decent changeup, and I've been working my fastball more down, so I'm getting a lot more like foul balls and swing and misses. And my slider has definitely progressed over time. That was a pitch I never really had, and it kind of keeps lefties off balance too because I have my changeup that keeps righties off balance. And I think just the, probably my secondary pitches have really progressed. And then I've increased a little bit of velo, but I mean, since I came here, not by too much. And um, but definitely my secondary, my slider for sure has really helped me a lot get more strikeouts. And um, and then the changeup just progressing more and more as the years go on and getting better. Have you found um, how do I want to put this? Coming back from Tommy John, how long did it? until it felt like you you knew you were back? Um, to be honest, uh, so a lot of guys, when I got Dr. Andrews, he said 12 months would be the first time when I'll be full go. But when I started bullpens, I remember I got on a, on a bullpen, uh, my second bullpen of the year, and I, uh, uh, I got put on a gun and I was back, my velo was back to normal. And I felt strong enough to be able to be good to go at 10 months. So which is earlier, and I felt I never really had any setbacks till it was just a freak thing, like a piece of cartilage got stuck in my joint 15, and I get, had to get that taken out. That's just freaky. So, but I really have not had a problem with my elbow, the inside of my elbow, since 2013. No issues. No issues with command of the secondary pitches initially. That that you've seen a big difference in command this year. Um, no. I mean, I've had to. I've been learning a slider so I'd, uh, I never really threw a slider growing up so I didn't really know how to throw it or anything and just not command issues just knowing how to throw it so it doesn't put a lot of torque on your elbow I've uh, learned that so that that keeps that uh, that's the thing that I focus on is just how much torque I'm putting my elbow with these pitches keeping it safe but command no not too much having gone through it do you have any opinions on why we've seen a rise in Tommy John surgeries I think it's just because guys throw so hard now. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's coming out throwing 95, 96, 97 when you come out of high school. Yeah. And for me, I grew I grew really late. So I grew eight inches in six months my junior and senior year. So I started, the beginning of my junior year, I was 5'8", and the beginning of my senior year, I was 6'4". Wow. I was 150 pounds, and I was throwing 91, 93, and I don't think my body was ready to throw that hard yet. Yeah. And I didn't have very good mechanics. Nobody ever taught me mechanics. Mm -hmm. I always played a position. And I started pitching my senior year because I started throwing harder. 
so I didn't really, I did a lot of the inverted W thing, so, mm -hmm. and that just kind of really put a lot of stress on my arm, and that just blew. Did you play any other sports in high school growing up? No, uh, I played basketball. I played soccer till high school, and I played basketball in high school. So. Who's the best basketball player on the team here? On the team? Yeah. Well, I haven't seen many, but... To be to be completely honest, I'll take any one of these guys one on one. Okay. To be honest. All right. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. So. All right, Ryan. Thanks for your time. Uh, what can we expect from you for the rest of the season? What are you looking most forward to? Just keep just keep doing what I'm doing, progressing. Um, I've been really working on the slider. Been changing it. I'm really excited about. I'm pitching today. I'm really excited about working uh, the work that I did in the bullpen for my slider. Just, just try to trust the process and just when opportunity comes, take advantage of it. All right. Well, good luck to you. Appreciate it. Thanks.